What's the beautiful people? Welcome back to your channel. I hope you're all doing amazing, guys. Today I'm going to be reacting to Americans when they realize that the entire world doesn't revolve around them. And one of you guys suggested me this video, so without further ado, let's start our reaction. And I was kind of like letting my family know how my job is going and whatever. They asked me like how many students I have. I was like 15 to 20. They were like, is there a bunch of other English teachers in your city? I was like, yeah, there's quite a few. And my uncle actually said, he said, that many people want to move to America in your city? And I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? And he was like, that's why people study English, no? They want to move to the United States. Oh I was too stunned to speak. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, screw it. Here's my embarrassing moment. My true face palm. I know you're going to judge me, but whatever. Uh, when I first moved here, I was looking at a website in French, obviously, and I was looking for how to convert it into English. So I went to where the little flags are, you know, in the corner of the, the screen, and I could not find an American flag anywhere. So I was like, what the heck? This doesn't make sense. There has to be a way to translate it into English. And then I found the British flag oh my because God. Americans did not invent English. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Even though I'm not an American, but this is embarrassing like to hear and to witness this. And I always uh, judge myself for that one. That was, that one was pretty bad. <laughs> No, this is a real thing. Like, I'm educated now, but I remember being a kid about like 10, 11-ish, and it was actually surprising to me that European history continued. Like, okay, well, Europeans came to America, and then European history stopped, right? Because uh, nothing what? else mattered after that, because there was America. What do you mean that they oh continue God. living lives and having history over there between the time when America... Like, guys, this is so uncivilized. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, but this is so uncivilized. America was started, and when we rescued them in World War II. That's... <laughs> I'd like to say That's that was bad. just American education when I was a kid, but I think it's American education in a lot of places now. Oh my god, guys, I can't believe. I can't believe that this is the American education. Oh. This can be true. <laughs> this. When I first moved to Spain and I started dating my partner, I was chatting with an acquaintance from back home, and I said, yeah, I'm dating for somebody from where I'm living. Their response was... I love you so much, I'm really excited for you, but please be careful because you never know if somebody might be using you for a green card. <laughs> oh my god, excuse me. What? Okay. <laughs> I was shocked. I'm sure. And the irony of the situation is that uh, we ended up getting a civil partnership so that I would be able to stay here. Assuming she means us, you as Americans. Oh. <laughs> okay. So being that I am a U.S. immigrant living in Costa Rica, I hear stories all the time from Costa Ricans who like work for call centers, and they tell me the most horrendous stories. Which Sorry, it doesn't surprise me that we people from the U.S. have the audacity. But I am now starting to collect my own stories because I am now on the phone with. Oh my God! I, I, this would be really interesting to like for all different peoples that they're the American people that they're living around the world to collect their stories and write them. This is so funny. I want a Netflix documentary on this on the subject. People from the US all day as a travel consultant for a Costa Rican based travel agency. And one of my very first clients that I ever got on the phone said to me, who happened to be from the great state of Texas. Now listen, <laughs> darling, I don't like foreigners much. So when I get there, I want to make sure that I'm not around foreigners. This is, this is true. But I 
said, sir, I think you might be confusing Costa Rica with Florida. Florida is lovely this time of year. Oh my God. This is bad. I've lived in Europe since 2018. I say Europe because I lived in France, Spain, and Belgium. Last year, I went home for the holidays to the US and I kid you not, I was asked, do they celebrate Thanksgiving in Europe? <laughs> When I was a kid, I remember watching the Olympics and thinking it must be so hard for them to not cheat for the Americans and like the judges and not give the athletes that are on the American team more points because we're so awesome and everybody loves us and we're like the best country. And so like, how are you not going to give po more points to us? Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, like... The fact that she's explaining this story, <laughs> uh, unit courage. Literally, when I arrived here in Colombia, I met some American people, and when I asked them, so where are you from? They were like, Indiana. And I was like, I don't care what country. I was like, I know, where is Indiana? Just tell me America or United States. What would you want to precise your state? Like, okay. so selfish. <laughs> it's no surprise that we feel this way. We call our baseball championships the World Series. There's like one Canadian team. Win the Super Bowl or the NBA championships, world champions. We pretend we're the only ones playing these sports. Wait, you mean to tell me that it doesn't? There's other countries? I thought you guys were just our states. <laughs> I need some time to laugh. Newsflash, Americans. The world does not revolve around you. Sorry, from Canada. <laughs> Seven years ago, my best friend told me if I ever received the code word from him, I was to drop everything and meet him at a specific address in Argentina within 48 hours. I received the code word 20 minutes ago, but how many pairs of underwear am I supposed to bring? Because if I ship myself once a day... Tell me about the time that you went to a sleepover as a child and something happened that instantly made you ready to go home. I grew up in a predominantly white neighborhood, so I have a ton of weird ass stories like this. But this one is one of the worst! In fifth grade, I was having a sleepover at a friend's house, and her family was like one of those like dog crazy family. Like the I make out with my dog, dog lover type family. Anyway, we're at the dinner table and we, oh my God. When it was time to clear the dinner table, <gasps> Her mom would, would let the dogs lick the plates clean. Like, they, and she put them back on the shelf. I'm Where looking at her like. Not for me. And she says, dog saliva is clean. It's practically as good as soap. And I ate off those fucking plates. Oh my God, guys. I would have fainted if um, I, I were in her place. Uh, this is so uncivilized. I'm sorry, but this is <laughs> my opinion. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching the video. I had so much fun and this was so entertaining. If you have another suggestions, please comment down below. Uh, I would like to react to them. And thank you for watching the video. Love, peace, and unity. And until the next one, peace out.